Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other what the fuck now? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look! Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. 
<laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! He brought. Now back to Chloe. Thanks for the help, dickhead. Thanks for the help, dickhead. Max? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. No, I'm just lucky. If Kate wanted to jump, she could have. Well, she didn't because she had a friend who cared enough to help. I hope everybody at Blackwell starts caring. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. This is so creepy. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming.
You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Crappy wife out here. Let's... Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more grits. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. How can somebody live like this? The archetypal filthy guy dishes. This is almost as good as a set of keys. No prize here. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite Picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer in Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Zip, nada, nothing. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got, Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault, too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. And Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we'll far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's tr true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her... 
Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Chloe reading this, Chloe. but not after today. Hey, honey, just making a fabulous breakfast. That's a Chloe. cool snow dough. Going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. What she a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Be there shortly. Love you. I know they never took that big vacation. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Aha! You can't hide from me for... Yeah. Be there shortly. Love you. Score! Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was I, laughing so much. I know. Say, uh, Mad Max, <laughs> you're not pissed at me, right? Right? Yeah, it's people in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? 
I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! <laughs> <laughs> 